<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and welcome back to another video for the PlayStation Vita. Now, this one is more going to be exclusively for the original Vita models. That would be the OLED versions or those Vita 1000 models. Now, one downside to having one of these older original models is that there's not any internal storage that's easily accessible. Typically, in order to get started with really any type of gaming or modification on there, there, really to make proper use of it, you need a memory card of some kind, which of course can be expensive and, you know, annoying to purchase. However, what if I told you that's not the case, and there's actually a way to unlock storage on the original 1000 model Vita, just like what we have on the 2000 model Vita, the PlayStation TV, and even the Vita TV. This is made possible all thanks to an application called IMC Unlock from developer SKG Liba. And essentially what this does is this ends up, as it says here, allows you to manage the internal user partitions on the PSP2, that being a Vita, by modifying the eMMC's master boot record. So we are able to actually get a one gigabyte partition, which would be usable on the Vita 1000 model, just like the 2000, the Vita TV, and the PlayStation TV. Now, even though IMC Unlock is available separately, I am going to show you a few methods of doing this here. Here, and we're actually going to be doing this all through Vita Deploy as well as Hinlo. Vita Deploy is a fantastic, essentially all in one toolbox now for the Vita, which makes just deploying and installing and modifying the Vita so much easier these days. And this does work for both modified and non modified Vitas. I am going to cover it for both setups. However, do keep in mind that if you have a unmodified stock 1000 model Vita, this is going to require a little bit of modification, but it's not all too bad. You're just going to need your Vita and an internet connection for this. Now I will have timestamps down below in the video because I'm going to show you all three different things. I'm going to show you all how to perform this on a unmodified stock 1000 model Vita, assuming you're running the latest exploitable firmware. I'm also going to show you how to perform this on a already modified Vita, and I'm going to show you how you can undo this if you ever want to undo it in the future, because that is one thing to keep in mind here. Although IMC Unlock is a great modification and it is persistent through firmware updates and even downgrades to an extent, it has been noted that this cannot work on older, older firmwares. So if you ever do want to downgrade your PlayStation Vita to a firmware lower than 2.00, you will have to disable IMC Unlock on here, and the only way to do that is through IMC Unlock. So I'll show you how to do that at the end. Now first, let's go ahead and cover this on a completely unmodified Vita. First of all, let's open up the internet browser. Now once you open up the internet browser, if you haven't used this before, I would recommend you go into your settings and you delete your cookies, and you also delete your search history and then close out of the browser. Once it's closed, you're going to want to reopen the browser. Now this is the website we're going to be going to, and thank you to SKG Liba for hosting this here, but the website we're going to be hitting will be deploy.psp2.dev. You're just going to want to hit this website and wait. Once the Hinlo menu here pops up, you're going to want to scroll down to the first option and install Hinkaku, and wait a few seconds. Once Hinkaku is installed, you're going to want to now go down to replace Near with Vita Deploy and continue on with this. This is going to replace the Near app, which is no longer used at this point, with Vita Deploy. Once this installation takes place, it is going to automatically restart your Vita, just let it do its thing. Once your Vita has been rebooted, you're going to need to go to that website again. So open up the browser and go to the same website. Once Hinlo launches, this time you're just going to hit exit. And once you exit, you're going to want to come over to your settings, open up your settings, and go to Hinkaku settings. And you're going to make sure enable unsafe homebrew is enabled. It probably won't be enabled at this point, so you're going to want to do that now, and then exit out of this. Next, you're going to want to find the application which has replaced your near application, and you're going to open that up. This is going to be Vita Deploy. Within Vita Deploy, you're going to need to come down to miscellaneous, go down to create an internal memory card, and go ahead, continue on here if you understand this warning. Now you're going to want to go down to default 2000 storage configuration. I know you're on a 1000 model, but this is going to be what you'll need to get that one gigabyte of storage on here. You're going to want to select this option 
and then let the console reboot. When your Vita launches, if you weren't prompted to format your storage, it would be good practice to do that. So go ahead, go down to your settings. Now go all the way down to format, format memory card, and we're going to go ahead and format this. Let it format and then restart. Once your system has been rebooted yet again, you're going to want to come down to settings and to check this and see that we've done everything correctly, you can go down to system, go to system information, and you should notice that you have about a gigabyte available of capacity and free space on here, like you have a onboard one gigabyte memory card. So congratulations, you've now done this successfully. If you want to restore that near app, you are going to have to launch that website one more time and wait for the Hinlo menu to come up. Once it comes up, you're going to want to go down to replace Near with Vita Deploy, and this time you're going to restore Near. Although this step is optional here if you just want everything to stay stock. Once Near is restored, it will reboot your Vita. So now at this point, congratulations, you have successfully unlocked one gigabyte of onboard storage on your completely stock Vita. Super awesome to see. Do keep in mind, if you want to modify your Vita now and continue on at this point, that is completely up to you. This video is not going to be covering that in particular, but if you want to modify your Vita now, what you're going to need to do is go to that same website and install Hinkaku yet again. Once you install Hinkaku, this time you're going to go to install Vita Deploy, and you're going to install it like a standard application on a standard memory card. And from here on out, you can continue on with the rest of the modification process if you choose to do so. Now, let's say you're going to perform all of this on an already modified PlayStation Vita. Well, that's pretty simple to do. We are going to need to install Vita Deploy if you have not already done so. So let's go ahead and work on that. First of all, we will, of course, need our modified Vita, and we're going to need to open up the Vita Shell application. Next, you're going to want to connect this to your computer however you choose to do so to transfer over files. So you can press the Start button and choose if you want to go through FTP or USB mode. Once you make that selection, you can press the Select button, and it's going to either enable USB mode in which you can connect your Vita to your computer or FTP so you can transfer over files through your network. I will have Vita Deploy linked down below in the description. What you'll need to do is navigate to the Vita Deploy page on GitHub and click on Releases. From here, you're going to want to download the latest release of Vita Deploy. Just grab the vitadeploy.vpk file. As per usual, save this somewhere you can easily find it. If you're going to use USB transfer, you can do all this pretty easily through a file explorer. However, if you use FTP, you can use something such as WinSCP if you're on Windows or another FTP client equivalent if you're using another operating system. If you use FTP for this, on the left hand side, you're going to want to navigate over to where you've saved your Vita Deploy.vpk file and then click on New Session. From here, you're going to want to select FTP mode and plug in the IP address and port number for your Vita. Your IP address is going to differ, but the port number should be 1337 and you're going to want to do an anonymous login and then click on Login. Once you're here, you're going to want to navigate over to your UX0 directory and save this somewhere you want to find and install VPKs from. Typically, I have a VPK folder such as this. And from here, you can right click, upload, and transfer Vita Deploy over. Once that's completed, we can go ahead and disconnect out of here. Over at your Vita, you want to disconnect it from FTP or USB. Go over to UX0 and go over to wherever you saved that VPK file. Now you're going to want to highlight the VPK file, press X, and go through the standard install process of installing this. Once that's been completed, we can now close out of Vita Shell, and we can go down and find wherever we've installed Vita Deploy to. Perfect, it should be showing up a little something like this. This should have been done already, but if you've run into issues with installing or if Vita Deploy doesn't launch properly, you will have to make sure within your settings and Hinkaku settings that you do have Enable Unsafe Homebrew enabled. Once all that's been done and checked, you can come back over to Vita Deploy and give this a launch. From here, you're going to want to navigate down to Miscellaneous, scroll down to Create an Internal Memory Card, and as long as you understand this warning, you're going to proceed. 
And from here, just like before, if you were doing it on a stock system, on the modified system, you're going to pick the default 2000 storage configuration. Yes, I know that you're on a 1000 model, but this is what we're going to need. Once it does its thing, you're going to press any key here to reboot. Once your system reboots, scroll down to your settings, go into settings here, and although you're already using a memory card, you're not going to be immediately using this internal storage, but in order to initialize it and just make sure we're all good, you can scroll down to format, go to format memory card, and you should now notice an internal memory card of one gigabyte in which you can select that, make sure you deselect your standard memory card you're using or else you're going to wipe your data. And from here, you can format the internal memory card and you now have that unlocked on your system. Congratulations. For our final step here, I'm going to show you how you can undo this modification and return it back to a completely stock storage setting. Now, this could be for a few reasons. Maybe you just want to keep this completely stock. Maybe you just want to revert this for whatever reason. But the main functional reason I've seen would be in terms of firmware upgrades and downgrades. The very good news here is that this is actually persistent through firmware upgrades and downgrades. However, if you are downgrading firmwares, this is where it's going to be important. If for some reason you ever foresee yourself or you ever want to downgrade to a firmware lower than firmware 2.00, those older firmwares are not going to support this configuration, meaning that you can damage your system and brick it. So if you ever see yourself downgrading to a firmware lower than 2.00, you're going to want to undo this before you perform it all. Do keep in mind for the option we're going to be picking, it is recommended here that you should only select this with a memory card inserted, an actual memory card, so do keep that in mind. For this, we are going to again need access to Vita Deploy. I've already covered how to access this for modified and unmodified systems, so we shouldn't need to go over that here. However, what you can do is go down to Vita Deploy and launch it however you're going to do so. Once it's launched, you're going to go down to Miscellaneous, go down to Create an Internal Memory Card, and agree with this as long as you understand this warning. For this, you're going to want to scroll down to default 1000 storage configuration and enable this. Once this does its magic, it's going to restart your system. Let it do its thing. From here, once your system has been rebooted, you can go back over to your system settings and check everything out. Now, if you already have a memory card inserted, what you can do is go down to the format section, go to format memory card, and you should no longer be prompted for an option for an internal memory card format, meaning that you have reverted this to the original stock state in terms of storage options. So there we go. That is about it when it comes to utilizing IMC unlock with Vita Deploy to unlock that extra one gigabyte of storage for those 1000 models. This is super awesome to see and something that I saw here pretty recently when Hinlo released and I thought was just super useful because again, let's say if you are modifying a 1000 model Vita, you no longer have to track down a extra memory card to get all of this sorted. Just super awesome here overall. Either way, that is about it for this video. So if you enjoyed it, I hope it did help out. And if you did like it, a like would absolutely be appreciated. If you didn't like this video, a dislike is fine as well too. But either way, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching everyone.